On the 30th of April, 1897, J.J. Thompson, a man from Cheatham in Manchester, discovered the electron. We hear about these electrons all the time. They're everywhere. Some would say they are everything. They're the things that stuff is made of. These electrons play a fundamental role in every branch of pure and applied science, and its discovery by Thompson marked a major advance in our understanding of nature. These electrons became so popular in the 1960s that not one, but two bands called themselves the electrons, one from Wilmslow and one from Burnley. These tiny subatomic particles and the experiments Thompson did to find them led directly to the device you are watching this video on. JJ, as he was known to his friends, was born in Cheatham Hill, a suburb of Manchester, on December 18, 1856. His mother, Emma Swindles, came from a local textile family. His father, Joseph James Thompson, ran an antiquarian bookshop founded by Thompson's great-grandfather. His early education was in small private schools where he demonstrated outstanding talent and interest in science. In 1870, at the unusually young age of 14, he was admitted to Owens College, now the University of Manchester. His parents had planned to enroll him as an apprentice engineer to Sharp Stewart and Company, a locomotive manufacturer. But these plans were cut short when his father died in 1873. His mother could not afford the large premium required for the apprenticeship. He therefore gave up his dreams of engineering, an unfortunate turn of events in the young lad's mind. But had things gone differently, he probably would have ended up as an unknown who came up with some minor improvement for a steam boiler. In 1876, he went to Trinity College, and his work at Cavendish Laboratory led to the discovery of the electron, one of the most significant events in science. Thompson first entered the Cavendish Laboratory as a student in 1880. Four years later, he was a professor. He started experiments on the discharge of electricity through gases at low pressure, a subject which he pursued for the rest of his working life. He improved upon this device, called a cathode ray tube, a gas discharge tube that Thompson used for the detection of electrons. He used the tubes in which the cathode rays were deflected magnetically, as well as those as shown here in which the electrons were deflected electrically. The first televisions and video screens were based on a device like this. Thompson made the first announcement of the existence of the electron, or corpuscle as he called it, at a Friday evening meeting of the Royal Institution on April 30th, 1897. The word electron, originally coined by Johnson Stoney in 1891, and used in another context, was applied almost immediately by other scientists to Thompson's corpuscle. But Thompson himself did not adopt the universal usage until almost 20 years later. He received a Nobel Prize in Physics in 1906, and as if that wasn't enough, perhaps one of Thompson's greatest contributions to modern science was in his role as a highly gifted teacher. Thompson taught a new generation of researchers. Eight of his students, plus his own son, were awarded Nobel Prizes in either physics or chemistry.
When there's nothing I can do 